Good evening, Utopian Baseball Universe, and welcome to the first of two roster reveal nights for the uh, Negro League players that will be added to the league this year. Uh, tonight we'll be uh, introducing the 16, uh, 16 of uh, 32 players that will be added to rosters uh, this year. Uh, and we'll be doing uh, night two uh, a week from tonight at 7 o'clock. And then on Thursday the 21st and Thursday the 28th, we'll be revealing the rest of the uh, roster additions for 2021. Uh, so this isn't a, a draft. Um, so it, it's not like the worst team from last year got the first pick and so on. Uh, I looked at last year's rosters and basically placed players with teams based on need. So um, we'll get started. Hopefully this is uh, a history lesson as well. Some of you might be learning some of these names for the very first time. Uh, so with that being said, we'll get started. Like I said, 16 players revealed tonight, and then 16 uh, next week, Thursday night. Uh, the first player we're going to talk about tonight, uh, you're probably familiar with if you've ever seen uh, Ken Burns' documentary, Baseball. Uh, he was a big contributor to that documentary. He is known as the soul of baseball. Uh, beloved player and manager, scout. Uh, he was the first African-American coach uh, in the big leagues, and he has led the effort to create the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum. I am talking about Buck O'Neill, and I am happy to announce that Buck O'Neill will be platooning at first base this year with the Los Angeles Angels. Uh, so Buck O'Neill joins the Angels. He'll be platooning at first with Wally Joyner. Uh, you got a uh, really good lefty-righty platoon there. Uh, Joyner hit over 300 last year, uh, but tailed off in the second half of the season. Uh, this will be a good addition to a playoff team from 2020. The Angels uh, were the... American League West uh, wild card game winner in 2020 before they lost to the Dodgers. They beat the Diamondbacks in the wild card game. Uh, so again, Buck O'Neill, let's welcome him to the Los Angeles Angels. Our next player uh, tonight uh, was a 1999 Hall of Fame inductee. He's often referred to as the Satchel Page of the early 20th century. Ty Cobb tabbed him a sure 30-game winner in the bigs, had he gotten the opportunity to play in the bigs. He once struck out 27 batters in a 12-inning, 1-0 win in 1930. The man I'm speaking of is named Smokey Joe Williams. And he's going to be a big addition. He's actually been named tonight the opening day starter and the new ace. Please welcome Smokey Joe Williams to the Pittsburgh Pirates. He'll be starting opening day uh, for the Pirates. Last year's opener, Doug Drabeck, will be in the rotation, but uh, Williams will get the nod and be the ace of that staff. Please welcome Smokey Joe Williams to the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right. Uh, our next player is a 1997 Hall of Fame inductee, considered the best shortstop 
of the 30s and early 40s in the Negro Leagues, a 5-2 player that hit 309 times, part of the fabled million-dollar infield with Mule Suttles and Ray Dandridge. I'm speaking of Willie Wells, shortstop. And I am proud to announce that Willie Wells will be the starting shortstop in 2021 for the Montreal Expos. That's a big upgrade at shortstop. The uh, Expos were last in the Utopian League last year in production at that position. Uh, so this is a big upgrade for the Expos. Willie Wells coming to Montreal. This next player actually played in the big leagues for eight years with the Giants and Cubs. Was the Negro National and American League choice to be the first modern player from the Negro Leagues. But the Dodgers chose uh, Jackie Robinson. Uh, this player was a Hall of Fame inductee in 1973. I'm speaking of Monty Irvin. He's going to play outfield. He's going to be uh, in the mix uh, with uh, a number of different outfielders. Um, he'll get a, a lot of starts, I'd imagine, uh, and be a valuable uh, asset on a team uh, that started hot last year uh, and then finished uh, not so great. I want to welcome Monty Irvin to the Utopian Baseball Universe as the newest member of the Durham Bulls. Monty Irvin will be joining the likes of Dwight Evans, Carlos Beltran, J.D. Martinez on a uh, what should be a, a pretty decent outfield there in Durham. So welcome Monty Irvin. Uh, to the Durham Bulls. All right, we are a uh, fourth of the way through. And we'll get to the next four selections here. All right. The next player we're going to talk about is named Judy Johnson. Johnson plays third base. He was inducted uh, into the Baseball Hall of Fame in excuse me, 1975, considered to be the best third baseman in Negro League history. He won the MVP in 1929 and would later scout for many teams after his playing days ended. Uh, this is going to be uh, a huge addition to this team, uh, an already stacked team, a team that uh, made the playoffs, uh, won a playoff game, and actually won a divisional championship in 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, Judy Johnson will be playing third base this year. for the New York Yankees. So welcome Judy Johnson to the Yankees. Uh, I can see him getting uh, a lot of starts at third, uh, possibly a platoon with Nettles. Nettles was clutch in the postseason. Um, that was identified as uh, probably if, if there is one weakness on the Yankees, it was that position. So they're going to get uh, a great third baseman in the form of Judy Johnson. Welcome to the Yankees. All right, uh, the next player is a 2006 Hall of Fame inductee. He retired early in his playing career to become the top executive and contributor uh, in Negro League history uh, from an executive level. He owned the Homestead Grays for 35 years. He's going to play outfield. Uh, in a, uh, a pretty loaded outfield. Uh, I, I don't see him being an everyday starter, uh, but he's going to spell uh, some really good players. Uh, he, 
He'll contribute some speed off the bench. Uh, the name of this gentleman is uh, Cumberland Posey. Uh, played uh, mostly left field when he played. And uh, I want to welcome Cumberland Posey to the Utopian Baseball Universe as he'll be joining the Chicago Cubs. Posey joins uh, a really good outfield in Chicago, Sammy Sosa, Billy Williams, Hack Wilson, uh, Jason Hayward. So uh, please welcome Cumberland Posey to the Chicago Cubs. Our next player is named Hilton Smith. He's a starting pitcher. 2001 Hall of Fame inductee, 12 times. Hilton Smith won 20 games, and he could hit as well, hitting 323 for his career. Uh, this is a huge get for this team uh, because, of course, pitchers do hit uh, in the Utopian Baseball Universe. So not only are you getting an uh, all-time great pitcher, 12-time 20-game winner, but you're getting a guy that can rake in Hilton Smith. Uh, and he's going... To the South Division, Hilton Smith joining the Tampa Bay Rays. He'll be uh, he'll be in that starting rotation. Uh, Joe Madden hasn't announced his opening day starter yet, but Hilton could be in the mix for that as well. So please welcome Hilton Smith to Tampa Bay. All right, our next player uh, is a 1977 Hall of Fame inductee, one of the top shortstops in Negro League history, consistently would hit 300 every year, can steal bases, bunt, field. Uh, his name is Pop Lloyd, shortstop, and uh, he'll be uh, most likely starting opening day at shortstop for this team. Uh, this is an upgrade, I, I would say. Uh, so I want to ask everyone to welcome Pop Lloyd to the San Francisco Giants. He'll be playing shortstop with Brandon Crawford. Uh, I'd imagine that Lloyd will be the starting shortstop in San Francisco on opening day. Please welcome Pop Lloyd to the Giants. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, uh, we are halfway through. Cue up the next four selections here. All right, our next player is a 2000 Hall of Fame inductee. This guy won six home run crowns. He twice hit 400. And he could steal bases as well. Uh, all around, a uh, great offensive player. Uh, he's going to be joining a team that has uh, some really good outfielders. Um, but I could see this man uh, competing, possibly for a starting job. Uh, nothing will be handed to anyone. Uh, we still want to get the best players out there each day, but this guy is going to be, a, I, I think, a huge contributor to his new team. This is a playoff team from last year, um, a team near and dear to my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, Turkey Stearns is the newest member of the New York Mets, primarily a center fielder. Um, He's going to be joining, you know, a, a good outfield uh, there in New York with uh, Strawberry, Dykstra, Conforto, uh, Granderson. Uh, very happy to welcome Turkey Stearns to the Amazons. Uh, the next gentleman is a 1998 Hall of Fame inductee. He's the winningest pitcher 
in Negro League history. He could hit as well, hitting 338 for his career, and he won a home run title. This is a huge get for a team that was really good last year. Uh, if they did have uh, maybe one weakness, it was uh, starting pitching. Uh, so they're getting a really good uh, good player here. Um, Sparky Anderson has not named his uh, starting rotation yet, but Bu Bullet Joe Rogan will be a member of that starting rotation. Where he fits in, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I think I just gave it away there. Sorry, guys. Uh, Bullet Joe Rogan is the newest member of the Cincinnati Reds. I'm sorry for the spoiler. Spoiler alert! Bullet Joe Rogan, Cincinnati Reds. We have six more players to go. Uh, the next player we're going to talk about is a catcher by the name of Biz Mackey. He's a 2006 Hall of Fame inductee. He's a switch hitting, power hitting backstop considered also to be the greatest defensive catcher in Negro League history. Uh, this is another huge get for a team that did struggle in 2020. Uh, instantly makes this team a, a whole lot better, um, not only behind the plate, uh, but in that lineup. I want to welcome catcher Biz Mackey. to the Seattle Mariners, Biz Mackey to the Mariners. And uh, the next player, we have five players left. Our next player is a 1974 Hall of Fame inductee. Many consider him the fastest man to ever play organized baseball. He won nine championships with three different teams, and the Sporting News ranked him the 66th best player ever in 1999. This is a another huge addition for a playoff team in 2020. Um, I'm talking about Cool Papa Bell, uh, traditionally a center fielder. And Cool Papa Bell is the newest member of the Kansas City Royals, joining Lorenzo Cain, uh, Bo Jackson, Alex Gordon. Uh, he'll definitely be a starter. Uh, does he play in center? Does he play in left? Uh, cool Papa Bell going to the Royals. Big get. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 12 down, four to go. Thank you for joining me tonight. Our final four selections for night one. All right, here we go. Final four selections for night one. Uh, the next player is a third baseman by the name of Ray Dandrich. Uh, he's a 1987 Hall of Fame inductee, uh, three-time All-Star, 1950 MVP, uh, considered the best third baseman never to play in the big leagues. Uh, this will be a big upgrade at uh, third base. Third base uh, was a Weakness for this team, this team finished 28th out of 32 teams in third base production uh, in 2020. So this will be a big upgrade for, and please welcome, Ray Dandrich to the San Diego Padres. Ray Dandrich, the starting third baseman for your 2021 San Diego Padres. Three players left, folks. Um, 
This might be the greatest player added to the rosters this year. 1976 Hall of Famer, regarded as maybe the best outfielder in Negro League history, left-handed, power hitter, but this guy could do it all. He could bunt, steal bases. I'm speaking of Oscar Charleston. He will be the starting center fielder on opening day and probably most days for another playoff team. Please welcome Oscar Charleston to the Chicago White Sox, joining Shoeless Joe Jackson and Harold Baines in that outfield. Uh, he'll definitely be a starter. Welcome Oscar Charleston to the White Sox. Two players left, folks. Our next player is a center fielder by the name of Pete Hill. He's a 2006 Hall of Fame inductee, feared line drive hitter, also had a rocket arm and an excellent glove, one of the best players of the 19th century. Uh, this player will uh, most likely uh, be a starter in 2021. Uh, he's joining some good ones, uh, but the talent can't be denied. I want you to welcome center fielder Pete Hill as the newest member of the Texas Rangers. Pete Hill to Texas. All right, folks, uh, we have one player left tonight. Uh, and I want again want to thank you guys for joining me. We're going to do this every Thursday in January. Roster reveals. Um, final player tonight. His name is Jose Mendez. He's a 2006 Hall of Fame inductee. He's the first. He was uh, considered the first Cuban superstar of baseball. Nicknamed the Black Diamond. Uh, injuries cut back his pitching career, and he would later become. Uh, successful shortstop and because utopian baseball universe uh, everyone's a baseball player uh, this guy I could see him maybe doing both this year uh, he's primarily going to be used as a uh, a closer and, and an eighth inning guy um, but again could see him get some some play at shortstop this year will be joining a playoff team and I think is going to be a huge addition Please welcome Jose Mendez as our final selection tonight. Jose Mendez to the Boston Red Sox. So there you have it, guys. Uh, the first half of the Negro League roster reveal is in the books. Uh, 16 players revealed tonight. We've got 16 coming at you next week. Um, hope you can join us for those episodes. Uh, we'll be we'll be here every Thursday uh, in January to reveal the rosters. Uh, a couple other things. Uh, Monday night we've got the final semifinal trivia game. Uh, that's going to be at I believe 8:15 Central Time Monday. J.D. Schloss versus Andrew Pfeffer. The winner of that game goes to the championship versus Mitch Nellis. And uh, next week, I hope to have news on how you can watch the championship. Um, I'm actually meeting with uh, Mitch uh, next week to discuss... Uh, something new, possibly, for our show. And uh, starting in February, we'll be doing previews. We'll be pre actually previewing one team a night for 32 straight days, starting in February. So, uh, again, thanks for joining me tonight. 
I have walked over 25,000 steps tonight, and I have about 6,600 more to go before midnight, or the Browns cannot win their playoff game Sunday. This is how I'm pushing myself to do good things in 2021, is I'm, I'm putting some incentive behind it. Uh, whether it's real or not, I'm just treating it as such. So have a good night, guys. Thanks for joining me tonight. Welcome all these players. They're going to be big parts of 2021 and beyond. Uh, have a good night, folks.